So please help me welcome Mundi. Wow. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, I think I must say this. Um, I'm actually honored and grateful to be around you guys. Uh, because in my own point of view, a speaker, you know, professional speaker, is the world changer. How? A professional speaker is a world changer because they have this power to to influence the humankind. Therefore, being invited to make a keynote address to such a caliber is really an honor to me. So PSA as a on behalf of Creation Creations, which is the company I work for, I am really grateful for everything that you've done to us. Uh, we really appreciate and honor the invite. I'm just gonna brief because of the time. What I want to say to you guys is, a speaker speaks and the publisher publishes. I read a book about uh, this book, it's a well-known guy, his name is Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, it's called Rich Dead Poor Dead. The key message that I found from that book is, mind your own business. It sounds a bit rude, but if you want the greatest of values now, according to today's context, if you want the value of the book that you have to be as high as possible, as a speaker, mind your own business. If you're a speaker for a book, all you have to do is speak. Yeah. If you want to have a book and you're a speaker, you speak. And then the publisher publishes. That's if you want to exhaust the content of your book. Because it's all about the impression that you make to your target market. So that's what I'm here about today. We are, uh, just, just to brief you, you know, this, I'm, 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 a, I'm an entrepreneur, but on a personal capacity, I'm a keynote speaker, but I speak to corporate. I speak on one thing and one thing alone. I speak about self-discovery. Because of, you know, I was an engineer, and I was involved in acid explosion, and blah, blah, blah. And I spent about seven months in hospital, and I discovered a lot about the human potential. So I always speak about self-discovery. So the recent job I had is about a month ago, when I was in the I was speaking to the sales department, and I was speaking about self-discovery, of course. But I spent about two nights there, because I spoke to 500, 500 employees. So I spent two nights there. Uh, mind you, I was invited as a speaker, but on the other hand, I'm also identified as an author. So just after my last session, was it my last session, Roger? Yeah, the last session, the CEO of the company comes to me and says, Dude, I see that you're also an author. Uh, this new book of yours, it's Mysterious Pregnancy, the name of the book. Is, is it about self-discovery as well? I said, yes, it's about self-discovery. Then immediately, he just placed an order for all 500 employees yeah. and more yeah. for, 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 for the rest of the executives. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I was not prepared for that. Yeah. I was not prepared for it. So I had to ask them to give me two weeks to make the books ready for them. But I realized one thing, that the best business partner that a, 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 a national speaker can have is a book, yeah. which is why I'm here tonight. So we are going to discover a few things tonight. We are going to discover why have a book as a business partner with a speaker. We are also going to discover how to convert your content into a solid book. By content, I mean how to convert your audio into a book, how to convert your video into a book, and how to convert an idea into a book. We also uh, talk about how you can write according to the needs of the target market. So how do you fulfill that need? And last but not least, how to professionally self-publish your book. So we're going to start about the first point, you know, which is why have a book as a business partner? You know, I just want to tell you guys that 
if there is one best body that you can ever have as a speaker, it is your book. And how, how, how do you make a book your best business partner? It's by aligning the content of your talks to your book. Meaning, but if, 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 if I went there to the company last month and spoke of a self-discovery, and then the CEO comes to me and says, okay, um, do the book that you have. Is it, what is it about? And I said, because I started camping, I said, no, it's a sort of chemical engineering. It's not going to make sense. So that, that means I didn't treat the book as a business partner. So if you want to exhaust everything as an author, one of the products that you need to have, it is a book. A professionally done book. It is your best business partner. The key factor is that you align yourself, you align the content of the book and the content of your speech or whatever, whatever brand that you're perceived as out there, you know, everything has been to one way or the other. So that, that's very important. That is why your book is a business partner. And if you treat it as a business partner, it will do the same to you. Right? I'll see you together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, if we move further, I think I'm going to need water. So, a book is a business partner if you treat it as a business partner. Make, make all ends meet. That's it. And that is, I'm, I'm going to be brief. I'm not going to you know, speak everything out because of the time factor. But it has to be your business partner. Otherwise, you're not doing anything. And then we speak about how you can convert your, your talks into a book. It's actually simple, ladies and gentlemen. Because you're a speaker. And you already have your stuff, you know, all your work recorded. The only thing you do as a speaker is write down exactly what you have recorded. So whatever you've recorded is what you write down. Verbatim, word for word. Don't alter anything. Because what you do as a speaker is that you speak. So speak it. Once you've spoken it, write it down exactly as it is. Don't think about grammar. Don't think about spelling. Don't think about anything. If you've spoken, write it down. Once you've written it down, there's something that happens when you go back to what you've written. You're you going to find a number of loopholes that you're going to, to patch here and there, which will increase the intensity or the quantity of the text that you're going to have for your public. Simple. So if you have an idea that you want to turn into a book, as a speaker now, as a speaker, because the best thing that you can do is speak about it. So just speak it. Use a phone, use a data phone, whatever it is, just record it. And then look for the key points that you can list down. Those key points, consider them as chapters. And those chapters, each chapter elaborate on them. And how do you elaborate now? That's the question. You elaborate by making examples. Examples that are that can make sense to the market you're writing for. So you make examples, you make analogies, you, you, you make you know anything, even if even if it's something from, from a personal experiences, just so that you could be able to send a message across. So, you, and most importantly, and last but not least, you have to, to have a bit of a research in everything that you do. So, in writing of thoughts, in all the elaboration that you do, just ensure that you include re re research. So, I think that that's important as well about the idea. As I've said, we're going to be quick. How do you write? for the needs of the market. A simple business principle says, a business is a business because there was a problem, then someone came with a solution, and then the solution will make profit. So now, for you to be able to write for the market that you're looking for, or the market that you're already working with, 
you have to have two factors. I mean, I'm, there, there are a number of factors that we can mention, but the two imperative factors that I believe are, are really the utmost. It's one, you have to be relevant. How do you become relevant to your target market? Obviously, you have to invest your time in networking with such a caliber so that you can be able to identify the problems that they have, all the current problems that they have. And those problems, those problems are your value. Those problems, you have to ensure that you come up with solutions. And those solutions is your content. Your content when you're talking, and it's your content when you're writing. So now, there is a need, there is a crisis for the market, and you know it. Now that you know it, you are the person that's coming with, with the information they need at that particular time. So there is no, there's no way you can say no to it. So it's very important that you, you become relevant by evolving with the market, network with the market, spend time with them, know their current effects, know as much as possible, so that you could be able to identify every problem so that you can have a solution. By that, you are adding value to the market. You know, when, when, when you've spoken about the fact that you've you identified the problem, now you're speaking to your market, I'm identifying the problem, and this, and this, and this are the solutions. They start saying, okay, I think Roger is, is, is good for my company. So they're going to need it. So Roger, what else do you have? How can you help us further? No, don't worry. I have a book as well. And what's nice about the book is that it's more elaborative than when you're talking because that's where you have more time to yourself, to explain yourself. So that, so a book is beyond monetary value, I must say it. Books make you serious money, but uh, what's more important is that a book is about the value that you add into your market. And the more value you add, the more valuable you become. So, because it's more elaborative whenever you mention the point. So, that's how. And the second part is that you have to join the associations for the market. So, for instance, if you, if you do safety, you know, here in SA, you have to join SAYESH. Uh, as a speaker, and if you're looking for entrepreneurs, if you're looking for for for, for make decision makers and companies, you know, join the chamber of commerce. So be part of those initiatives because they send it in right, then you tend to network with, with those people. So that you could be able to, to be to remain relevant and become a solution to your market. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to conclude by saying in order for you to professionally self-publish as, as a speaker, you just have to know that a speaker speaks and a publisher publishes. Now, what we figured as being, I think it's, it's misinterpreted, self-publishing. Self-publishing does not mean you are doing everything by yourself. Self-publishing basically means, you know, the intellectual property uh, the intellectual properties, they, they belong to you. It means you pay the publisher to do your work, but you have a say in everything. The publisher only suggests. It means you're in control of everything, but it does not necessarily mean that you are the person that does all the job. Because you're not a professional like speaker, you're a professional speaker. So a publisher publishes a speaker space. If, if not books are about the reason why I'm in the book business is because it, it's very important to me personally that the quality of the text is on par. The impact of the book has to, to be at its maximum. Otherwise, it's, it's actually pointless to have a book. Because a book is supposed to be someone penning down everything that they have because they have time for it. So it, it's not about robbing the market. It's about adding as much value as you possibly can. And through that, the same effort you put in is the same response you get in every sector. So if we could stick to what we could do more and allow others to do everything else, 
I can assure you, the quality, the perception, how you bring it out there will be magnified. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate the invite and I really hope that I have added a little bit of value to you guys. Uh, so and um, whatever you do, just do it to do it. Thank you very much.